anticipated packed crowd at the little Gresty Road ground where we join commentator Barry Davis. The magnetism of the FA Cup is clear everywhere you look around Gresty Road. The biggest crowd of the season here, some 7,000 and all but a few eager for their crew to complete the upset suggested at Stamford Bridge. The manager, Dario Grani, once a coach at Chelsea, keeps his starting lineup, but changes both substitutes, bringing in ex-Chelsea Dale Jasper. Steve Walters, who gave crew the lead then, now has the chance to celebrate his 18th birthday of yesterday. And if he does so, no one will be happier than Kenny Swain, just a shade older, who began his considerable league career in a Chelsea shirt. One or two of the modern version of the Chelsea shirt have changed owners between Saturday and Wednesday. In come Peter Nicholas, just five weeks after a cartilage operation, and Gordon Dury recovered from an ankle injury. Lee drops out the substitute, while Clive Wilson joins Tony Dorigo on the injured list. Judge is John Key from Sheffield. He was saying what a good match the first match was. And before it, Dario Grady talked of the role of the little club in the FA Cup. Having some fun, earning a bit of money, and just perhaps getting a victory. Tonight comes his chance. The Chelsea strengthened and nettled by recent criticism not least from some of their own supporters. Murphy. Smart. Graham Roberts. Peter Nicholas. Missed seven games during his timeouts. Back pass from Lasso, who starts in a left-back position, but surely will move forward. by Dury. John Bumstead. Dixon, Dyson with him. Holds him off, or does he? No, he didn't. Very good cross. It's a bit close to Grey Goose, but there wasn't much room for manoeuvre. Joseph. Joseph, been around a bit in his career, born in Kilburn. Walters with the free kick, Roberts header, offside. equalising goal and indeed was the only player booked in the match on Saturday Nicholas Johnson Nicholas Kevin Wilson Clark shooting chance Goalkeeper made sure his body was behind it. Killed it. Johnson. Dixon, the jury, the flag stays down, he's a chance, 
which is not taken. So I will Chelsea live to rue that miss. He was running in cleanly. Gregus came to him well, stood. It just got a touch as the ball threatened to go through his legs, but really plenty of time for Dyson to clear. Tommy Campbell, the Chelsea manager. His team lost in the third round to Barnsley last year, 4-0. He's had a few problems in the League Cup too. So currently in seventh place, having back in November led the first division. Jury hits it. That's well saved. James with the crowd and he took it very well indeed. It got through the edge of the wall, got a touch too off Walters. It works again. Clayton spreads it out, points Kenny Swain, who turns into trouble. Stopped by Kevin Wilson. This is Dixon. And still. Looking for Swain himself well. Stand back of his boots. Clayton and Cutler in the middle, and there's the takes. This time it was Dixon, played it onto his left, and the goalkeeper saved it with his uh, shin bones. Edwards has to come back a bit, Smart goes forward, is square of him now, in a bit of space, Edwards didn't see him. That's a good turn by Cutler. Lasso and Kuba have to watch the throw throws out to him because he's very, very quick. And it's a beautiful take and goal by Kerry Dixon. 31 minutes, no hesitation that time. And the people who travel from London show their pleasure. Dixon's precise finishing to Kevin Wilson's pass. It's his 13th goal of the season. But it proved to be unlucky for crew. Check in against Johnson. further forward than the ball is placed. We're not concerned about that. Kenny Sway, player coach, has come to take it. We have not two player coaches on the pitch. Not the best of Madison Nicholas, but it worked for him. That's a lovely turn by Walters. Joseph. Space for Walters. Coming in on the far side. Murphy's head up. Well, the youngster. Well, the youngster orchestrated all that. And show what a prospect he is. An apprentice crew before going on to the uh, FA School of Excellence. And it looks to be uh, a guiding light in this contest for the home side. Joseph. The run was right to left. The run is now left from Clayton. The last two was not a live trip. Joseph does well! Um, the fortune was with Benton as Clayton came in. Lovely turn though by Joseph. And Dixon gets away. And the 
Ray who strips the Kilka. Quick use of the longer ball is finding the gaps for Chelsea. They were rescued by Grey Goose with his fingertips. Paul Edwards, met by Moncou, going for the corner. by Clayton it's so simply taken by Bassett step by the side he showed too much of it but even so this is going to be a good player in my opinion Graham Rousseau seen him a couple of times a major asset his pace which is somewhat restricted in his position this evening And Dave Besson, a few seconds ago, showing what a big fellow he is. He made it look very simple after an excellent turn by Clayton. Roberts. Complaints going on involving Nicholas and Roberts and Dyson. And the referee has his hand in his back pocket. And the book in his hand, and I suspect. Yes, indeed. Not for the first time in his life, the name of Graham Roberts has been written down in the referee's notepad. Referee got slightly in the way, but the challenge was certainly late, and he was caught twice, in fact. For Sir Aidan Murphy. Clark. Peter Nicholas. The soul pushing run. Good piece of play. Not a bad try either by John Barnsley. game in the book if you're quick just push it and go and he hit a good cross and he looked up first Walters deliberate and I must say I doubt whether Walter's challenge was. Referee allowed play to go on and Clark took the law into his own hands. Deliberately stepped on the back of his heel. And it's yellow, the card. 